Hey YouTube, JP Dillon. This is probably going to be the last video you see from me for a little while. As you know, the YouTube editor is going away, and so since I primarily use that to uh, cut and paste clips together that I've taken with my phone or other cameras, it makes it really easy to put stuff on YouTube. That will become more difficult as I need to drag out some of my old PCs and editing software and get that set up. What you have here today is a Sansui 9900Z from about mm, 1982-83. This one uh, is no longer stock. As you may know, the original design uses a, a heat pipe with, uh, filled with Freon and a finned heat sink. And uh, the Freon leaks out and the heat sink becomes useless. And yes, I know things are mess around here. Uh, I always get those comments. God, it's so messy. It's so messy. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, I gave the customer two choices. Either move on or let me engineer a solution. So, hundreds of dollars later, here's the solution. I've taken a, a heat sink, a solid heat sink, from a Denon home theater receiver, uh, which required me to notch out the frame so that I can see, uh, sit, the heat, sit the heat sink down. Uh, the thermal fan obviously got moved from the heat pipe, the thermal fan switch got moved here, the furthest side from the fan, so that when the fan kicks on it doesn't prematurely shut off because the sensor gets cool before the rest of it does. I had to turn the board 180 degrees because it used to face in the opposite direction, and the output transistors were at a right angle per the board to the heat pipe. So then I had to drill out and tap all of the aluminum heat sink and install all eight transistors and bias devices and things like that. Uh, and if we flip it up here, you can see underneath, I also had to move the protect thermal sensor to the bottom of the heat sink, again, for this from the fan. Uh, I also had to make little heat sinks for the driver transistors since they used to mount to the heat pipe, they no longer do. Uh, I made them little heat sinks too. You can see I put fish paper there so that the high voltage potential doesn't accidentally touch the uh, chassis. And it's a pretty tight fit. I mean, it's a really tight fit. It just worked. So it's been running now for a couple of hours. Uh, the heat sink is uniform temperature. I'm not getting thermal creep. Uh, it's actually doing quite well. After uh, I get a chance, I'm going to crank it up and see if it will survive the torture test. But this has been a couple months long project. The guy is spending about six or seven hundred dollars because he wants this very machine to work. I said you could probably buy another one on eBay and just you know pray that it has a working heat sink. And he says no, I want this one fixed because this is the one I bought in college. So, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, as far as my thoughts on the YouTube editor, uh, there are many different hypotheses. Uh, anything from space usage to uh, identifiable misconduct, uh, audio and stuff that's not supposed to go there, whatever the reasons may be. Google claims that not enough people use it. Eh, I don't think that's entirely true. I mean, granted, a lot of people, I'm sure, have Windows Movie Maker and stuff like that, but the YouTube editor was so freaking simple. And if you had a, uh, like a Penguin browser on your phone that uses Flash, you could actually use the YouTube editor on your phone, which I've done, to cut and paste the clips together and, and make it work. So I'm kind of mad that that's going away. So it just means that I'm not going to be able to have as much time to uh, upload videos of stuff like this and I've still got the submerged Sansui thing I've still got the Zenith radio thing I still got the silver tone 21 inch black and white consulate uh, that I'm getting fixed up and it just means that's going to take longer for me to get that stuff on the internet so you guys can see it and that ticks me off and I'm sure that ticks you guys off and I don't have a lot of videos and even though the channel uh, does generate some revenue it's not really enough to make it worthwhile so I just kind of do this for fun. And when you get an impediment like the killing of the YouTube editor, uh, it makes it less fun. 
and I think unless I can find some easy way to upload videos uh, without spending a whole bunch of time on it, uh, that it's really going to detract from me wanting to continue doing it. So uh, that's yet another reason why I've taken so long to put stuff up is because I've been busy with this thing and many other projects. And then uh, September 20th, I think, is the kill date for the YouTube editor. But uh, anyway, a uh, very interesting project. This may be one of the only working 9900Zs that has something other than a Freon heatsink in it. So I uh, just thought you guys would appreciate this and might like to see it. It is kind of unique and different. So anyway, enough ranting. Uh, as soon as I get my hands on some 2SC1116As, we'll get back into the submerged Sansui. Uh, I've almost got a speaker down for the Zenith Ace845. That would be a good compromise. And then we'll get that chassis recapped and together. So if you don't hear from me for a while, it's because I'm just putting clips on my computer, waiting for a point where I can put it all together and upload it. So until then, thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for listening to me ramble. And uh, more stuff to come when I am able to. Thanks for watching.